Hello everyone, this is Jopke again and I'm making another index card and today I'm going to uh, glue down some pieces of paper first and that is some ephemera I have, some book text paper, some uh, old um, uh, envelopes and uh, there is also a piece of newspaper, uh, very old and it all turned kind of yellowish and also using some black paper with uh, text on it from uh, a magazine. Uh, really like this color combination of the neutral colors, the white, the, the beige and the, the yellowish, the craft. Uh, uh, and, 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 and that combining with an, an accent, uh, in this case it's black, but it could, might as well could be red or pink or whatever. I uh, really like um, those color combinations. Um, also, um, again, this uh, card will go into my old agenda of 2016. Uh, I decided to keep my index cards in that little book because it had the perfect size to keep index cards. And so that's why really I had this, this agenda. I thought uh, it could be perfect for index cards and that's why I actually uh, started this project. But um, the standard size of an index card, uh, this one is a little bit bigger, so it will fit better into my book, but I guess that's all right. I'm using the art medium to glue everything down, the art medium by Schoening, uh, and I keep that in a little container because that's easier for me than uh, that big bottle of one liter on my desk. So sticking everything down till the card is completely covered and then off to drying. And then the next step to, to get rid of all the edges really and to blend it all in uh, is uh, using the Heavy Gesso by Finnabare, Art Basic, Finnabare and my spatula. I learned this technique really from um, Didi Catron she often uses this technique to uh, make sure the background and everything that's on it is, is um, blending in with each other. So uh, these are a few smaller stems I got from Finnabare and I'm using the Stazon uh, Yet Black ink to stamp a bit and uh, also while I was at it using the ink pad to go around the edges of the card as well to grunge it all up a bit really. Uh, this is my Faber-Castell artist pit pen, the, a big one, and I decided to roughly draw a tree. I thought that could look nice, but I'm not that much of a drawer. I am not good at it at all. So it need to be, <laughs> needed to be very casual and grungy. So I just um, draw a shape of a tree and then smudged it all with my fingers to make it a bit grungy. And that's the nice thing of these Faber-Castell uh, pit pens is that they, you can do that while the ink is still wet. Uh, once it's dry, it is a permanent uh, on your card or, or, or your page. So. Um, next step is gluing down a piece of lace and this is actually from a curtain um, and I'm using the golden gel medium to uh, make a horizontal piece on the card. Trimming down the edges, the left over and then I am taking out and oh, I always keep forgetting the word for this fabric. In Holland we call it Jute. Oh, I just can't remember it, but Jute. And I'm gluing that down also with the uh, golden gel medium in a horizontal line because that will be the place where I will put my word, which is printed out, um, uh, coloring the edges with the Faber-Castell 
and that's going on top of the Jute. My God, what is the name for Jute? And that is the word solitude um, that I'm gluing down. So uh, then I am about ready, just splattering a bit around the card. And that will be it. So another card for my old agenda of 2016 to put it in. I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching. And I'm, what the first thing I'm going to do is look up the word for Utah, really. Have a nice day and see you next time. Bye bye.